Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. Today we will be taking a look at the Jazz Miner X41U after two weeks of mining Ethereum Classic. Now most of the reviews that you watch, they will show you and give you pretty much all of the details and results after mining Ethereum, but not many shows you Ethereum Classic. So I was curious and I'm sure you guys would be as well. So in today's video, I'm just gonna show you how well it has performed after about two weeks. Now if you're brand new to the Jazz Miner X41U, you don't know too much about it, this is pretty much the whole rundown right here. You're able to purchase it from jinglemining.com. They have two different versions of the server, even though one is currently sold out and it's the one with a little bit less hashing power. So the one that's sold out is 450 mega hash. The one that I have right now at home that I'm using and that is a part of this video is 520 mega hash. You are able to overclock it, which I have mine overclocked since day one. And I'm getting right around 570, 560. 60, 580 mega hash. So I'm getting right around 40 to 60 mega hash more than what is uh, descriptive right here. When you take a look at this miner, you'll notice that it is on sale. So instead of it being, uh, you know, 10,500, it's right around 6,600 currently. And that's because the market is down. Anytime that there is a bear market, all of the miners always go down in price because the price fluctuates along with the market. So if Ethereum or Ethereum Classic was to go back up in price, then so will the price of the miner. So this miner again, $6,600. When you scroll down at some of the details, the power consumption is 240 watts, which is equivalent of right around 65 cents a day to run. And you just basically take that 65 cents, you know, mathematically in your head out of what it earns per day. Now it does earn a little bit more from mining Ethereum than it does with the Ethereum Classic. And I'm gonna show you those breakdowns here. So again, the hash rate is 520 mega hash. Uh, and then you have the power consumption 240 watts. Now, if you take a look over inside of asicminervalue.com, ASIC Miner Value will show you some of these details. So it'll show you the income, the electricity cost, and then your entire profit. So you can see here that the income that it's earning right around right now is at $11.10. So the electricity cost will be earning you or costing you right around 63 cents. And you can take that down to your full profit of $10.47. So here on the site of ASICMinerValue.com, if you scroll down, you can actually change the price of your current local electricity cost. So if you're charging or being charged right around nine cents per kilowatt hour, you're able to go through here, you can hit on apply and it'll show you what it'll cost for you. For us, we're right around 11 or 12 cents. And so this is pretty close to what we would have to pay, which is right around 63 cents per day. So we already took a look at how much it costs to run per day. We also took a look at where you can purchase it, which is JingleMining.com. Now let's take a look at the market itself. So Ethereum Classic is pretty low. It's still been a, a bear market. We're sitting at $22.54. Now for me, I don't really care too much about the price right now because I'm not selling any of the coins. I'm not taking any profits, which means uh, that all of this that I'm earning right now is not going towards my ROI of today. All I'm doing is I'm waiting for it to go right back up to the conservative numbers of $55, maybe $65. I can sell then if I want to. So even if it takes a hundred days, which is a little over three months to go back up to where it kind of was, then it's only gonna be that short term of ROI. I've only had this miner for 30 days already with the additional 14, so I'm about a month and a half in with this miner. If it takes three months to go in and it goes up, you can see my ROI is going very, very quick because I've already held on to everything that I have mined currently so far. So again, I'm waiting for the price to go above 50, 60, maybe $80 before I'd want to sell anything to make my ROI go much quicker. So now getting to the part of the video that you mostly want wanted to see and that is how it's been doing mining Ethereum Classic. So it's been almost two weeks. It's been 12 or 13 days. I'm using the poolin.me website for my pool. You can see that my real time hash rate is at 830 mega hash. But that's because I have three miners connected currently. If you take a look at all of my workers, I have the X41U sitting right here, currently doing right around 544 mega hash. And then I also have two other small ones. It's the V1 Mini Classics. But let's say that you wanted to see exactly how this 
this one itself does with Ethereum Classic. So all you have to do is hit on this home button. And when you go to the home page, this is where you take a look at Ethereum Classic. When you hit on Ethereum Classic, this is gonna show you how much you're getting paid out per mega hash. It's gonna show you the current price of Ethereum Classic, but here's that calculator. All you have to do is let's say we put in 560 mega hash. That means that you're getting right around 0.38 ETC, which is equivalent of just under $9. Now, if let's say that we go up to 570, because this is closer to what I'm really doing, that we're getting right close to that 0.4 Ethereum Classic, which is still right under $9. So this is how you're able to put into a calculator how well this one is performing and what it would earn. So when you are thinking of Ethereum, you might be wondering, well, how well does this do with Ethereum? Again, put in your 570 mega hash sitting there. That means that you will be mining 0.0065 Ethereum, which is equivalent of basically $12. So you are earning about three or four dollars more if you mine with Ethereum. But again, I wanted to test Ethereum Classic for you guys for almost two weeks, and that's exactly what we have done. Now, if you're curious on how to switch it from Ethereum to Ethereum Classic, all you'd have to do is go inside of the Jazzminer dashboard. Now, inside of the Jazzminer dashboard, you want to go inside of Miner. Now, miner is where you go inside of this bottom section, and this is where you select which coin you would like to mine. You can do either Ethereum or Ethereum Classic, and you can choose the frequency of 200 megahertz or 225. Now, I choose 225 because that is the overclocked rate. So instead of me, again, doing 520 mega hash, I'm doing right around 560 or 570. So once you have updated it and switching it over to Ethereum Classic, then you just go inside of your pool information. And let's say you go to dashboard and up here you click on Ethereum Classic. So inside of Ethereum Classic, you hit on FAQ and here is your mining pool information. Now for me tonight, after this video, I will be switching this back to Ethereum. So pretty much all that I will do for that is I will head over into Ethereum and then I'm gonna take a look at FAQ and here is the Ethereum pools. So I will be copying and pasting all of these areas here into this spot, this spot, and this spot. So you see pool one, pool two, pool three. I will copy and paste those pools sitting there. And my user, or I should say my worker name is the same, which is jimmypromo.001. And once I update these three pools, I switch this to Ethereum and I hit on update and then it switches over. Now with the Jazz Miner, it always takes 30 minutes for it to fully connect and get it going and showing up in the pool. So if you make any updates, if you make any changes, or maybe you connected it for the very first time, if you see nothing has happened for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, that is normal. It takes right around 30 to 45 minutes for everything to show up. And I believe for me, it's always been around 30 minutes. So that is pretty much it for today's video. I wanted to update you guys on exactly how well it's performed with Ethereum Classic. So again, if you head over inside of poolin.me, you take a look at Ethereum Classic. You go inside of Dashboard. This is where everything is at. If you want to take a look at the calculator on what you're able to earn, and let's say uh, you're getting a miner for the first time and you've never bought one from before, this is where you go inside of the calculators. You can do it for Ethereum. You can do it for Ethereum Classic. You can do it for Zcash. Any of these, you can take a look at what it would earn. And basically, in the end result of everything that we have earned with this miner, if we take a look at my dashboard, uh, and let's say we take a look at the workers, here is the one right here. We're sitting at 534 uh, hash rate. I usually get right around 560. And so this one is earning 0.4 Ethereum Classic, which is right around $9. And if you were able to mine with Ethereum, then you'd be making $12 instead of the nine. So whenever it switches from the proof of work over to proof of staking, uh, you might as well mine Ethereum right away. Then once that change happens, switch it over to Ethereum Classic. So hopefully this has answered all of the questions that you guys have had. I've already shown a video of the 30 day results of mining with Ethereum. So if you want to take a look at that, I'll place that video below the video, uh, you know, inside of the description below this video. And also too, now you know everything for Ethereum Classic. So if you guys appreciate this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.